I read that you are very familiar of the feeling of nostalgia. So it's difficult to sell where, when there's nostalgia, no? Yes. Yes, of course, but, but uh, it's a step to, to, to do anyway. Uh, I, I have to, oh, every day I have to fight against the nostalgia, so <laughs> for, for everything, for my, my camera, for, my, for every, uh, every one of my objects. I think it's a good step to do that because time goes by and, uh, and you can stop all the time everything and, uh, and to fix it. And I think it's nice that other pe younger people, younger photographers could take advantage of my, of my stuff, of my experience. So why to sell? To give them the opportunity to 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 uh, to stimulate to stimulate other people to to do something with my stuff, with my work, with my my inspiration and my my studio atmosphere could be an inspiration. And. Uh, um... To keep things alive, you know, to keep things alive, and uh... and so um, you are selling also photos from other photographer. So could you tell? Could you tell us who are your masters in photography? Oh, I, I have many masters, you know, and uh, and uh, and for me is very passionate to collect photographs of other photographers because I have so many pictures are very important in my in my photography life and sometimes I was able to to get them and to keep them in my house closer to me. It was very, very touching for me and very inspiring too. So could you speak for example about the Marilla Agnelli portrait? From Richard yes. Avedon. From, from Avedon, yes. There's a picture important for me because was I was always fascinated by this portrait, uh, for the elegance and the beauty of the portrait and the dignity of this portrait. That's very inspiring for me always. Mm. She looks like a swan, right? Exactly, <laughs> like um, an elegant swan. So, what about Irving Penn? What can you say? Well, same, you know, uh, some picture of my Henry Penn have been very important for me. They, they have been uh, uh, really a guide for, for, for my world, for, for, my, for my way to go, really. But uh, for, there, there are, uh, there's also this uh, portrait of Cocteau by Berenice Abbott, which is Another kind of portrait, right? Yes, this is another kind, and almost Lizzie, because um, is I collect that image because my love for Cocteau and for everything he represents in France and is the French culture, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, um, but what do you try to catch when you are doing a portrait? We I don't. I, I say sometimes that, that uh, an identity for identity photographer, but not for the ID card. Uh, is is an identity much more uh, profound and deep. You know, I don't want to just to to catch the, the surface of of the of a face or the contour of a, the geography of a face or of a body. I try to find something more more deep and profound, something more the character, the personality of the person, more the, the spirit and the, and the soul of the person, yes. But does it go through the eyes, for example, do you think, or the behavior? Both, both. I think, I think uh, uh, even if it's ob obvious to say that, I think the eyes are really the mirror of the, the, of the soul. Okay, and uh, um, 
you often speak about beauty, but uh, do you think beauty is al also in places that we don't expect? Absolutely, yes. It could be a, a, a surprise sometimes, and expect a surprise, and then one is more beautiful. But uh, beauty for me is a mystery, you know, it's very hard to. I'm, I'm uh, surprised you say, talk a lot about beauty because I never see what to say about beauty. <laughs> uh, for me, it's very hard to find words about beauty to describe the beauty. But uh, is there yeah, but is there people that are not supposed to be beautiful and that you, you can make something which is absolutely creative and beautiful? Yes. Yes, I think, yes, the beauty is not just a, a thing you can buy, you can buy at the store or you can, you can produce like, like you produce uh, something. The beauty is, is, a, is done with many, many components, different components, uh, time, space, and, uh, and many things are, are coming to, compo to compose the beauty. So is th that's why it's difficult to, to describe and to explain. Yeah, there is because- no, There is no a recipe, a you know, it's not like a salad, you put a little bit of that, of that, of that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, because most of the time I read some interviews of you and you speak about Naomi Campbell and Natalia Vodianova, uh, so, they are officially beautiful, right? Yes. Yes. We, of course, when you see Natalia, you see beauty immediately because it's so beautiful. But when I work with her, I try to find, to, to go beyond this, in a way, superficial beauty uh, to reveal uh, a beauty more, more intense and more, more unrevealed as the first look, you know. And what is special about her, for example? You are selling a, a portrait of her where she looks quite wild, in fact. Yes, it's like a wild child in a way, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a wild woman is because she doesn't respect the rules of, of a, a bourgeois elegance or a bourgeois beauty. It's more like a little gypsy, I can describe it. You know, like a little angel. It's very hard to describe. What about Naomi? Same thing. Also, Naomi has this kind of beauty you can you can catch and and describe in a few words. And um, you are also selling some camera, right? Yes, yes. This is most difficult for my nostalgia. <laughs> Of course. So why are you selling them? It's not even a high estimate. But you know, uh, I don't want to that my studio becomes a a, a, a museum, a, a a mausoleum of my work. I don't like that idea. So I prefer, until I'm alive, I prefer to to share with other people my 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 things. So you, but you still I hope, have- I hope with young people, so the, the life, they will have a longer life, I think, you know. And, uh, but you still have a lot of camera? Cameras? Yes, yes. Like how many? I don't know, I never count. But a lot? A lot, yes. Maybe too many, I don't need all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and- what do you think of our period where photography images are everywhere? I think there are too much everywhere, you know. I think, uh, I think this is a kind of pollution of photography, of images. And, uh, and uh, it's a pity for the language of photography because for me it's a beautiful language and everybody is speaking like that everywhere in screens and, and telephones. You don't you you lose the beauty of the language and uh, and the sense also. And so, how can you react yourself? What can you do? I still keep 
taking my picture, you know, in my way, and I think this is a good reaction. It's not a reaction, it's an action, simply action. Mm -mm. And, but prints is also very important for you, the printing. Yes, yes. For me, photography is, is a piece of paper, is a print. It's not an image just floating in the screen, in a screen, in little or big, you know. It's more a piece of paper uh, and uh, it's an object. And uh, that's why I like the print. I have a lot of respect for the print. If you put a real, a beautiful print on your wall, on your wall, you will understand what is photography. Really, it will change completely your 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 feeling and your perception of a good image. And what's your next dream now? What do you want to do? My next dream is to take picture of my, of my dreams. <laughs> <I will laughs> I would love to have a camera who take picture of dreams, you know. Well, ah, you know, there's an artist called Pierre Muig who take, who make images of the brain in action. Ah, yes, yes, I know, I know. Yeah, but it's it's another story. But where yeah. are you staying now? In Italy? In this moment, I'm in Italy, yes. Besides the sea, in Adriatic Sea in Italy, is in the house where I was born. Oh, wow. Wait. Super. It's near the sea? It's near the sea, yes. And you make, you make photo? Do you still make photo every day or not much? Not much here. Holidays. Holidays, good. Bon, I'm waiting for the photos of your dreams. I, uh, next sale, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Merci. And, and it will be very, very expensive. <laughs> I can imagine. I can't imagine, in fact. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous, madame. Au revoir. Bon, Au revoir. bon fin de journée. Merci. Au revoir.